We can multiply two matrices together as long as their dimensions match. We saw a special case of this where one of the matrices was a vector. Now we'll look at a more general definition. We'll start by discussing when we can do this multiplication. It's really the same condition that we had for matrix vector multiplication. These inside dimensions have to be the same. And these outside dimensions give the dimension of the product. The product of two matrices is a matrix. And this and this together give the dimension of this matrix. How do we define matrix multiplication? We've made the observation that we often think of matrices as being kind of column storage units or vector storage units. So A is some matrix. But this matrix B, we'll think of in terms of its columns. We'll think of B as being a bunch of column vectors. Sitting next to each other. We'll define A times B to be the matrix whose first column is A times the first column of B. whose second column is A times the second column of B, and so on. Because we already defined matrix vector multiplication, we can find all of these products. So there's our definition. Let's separate it off. And let's ask a pretty natural question. Why do we define matrix multiplication this way? It's because we want something and we want this badly. We really want multiplication to be associative. That is to say, if we have three matrices multiplied together, we desperately want for it not to matter 
where the parentheses go. If matrix multiplication is not associative, we basically just can't multiply three matrices together. That would be a huge problem. So we really want this to be true. And we want it to be true for all matrices whose dimensions match such that these products are defined. Let's look at this thing that we want in the special case where one of these matrices has only one column. So in the special case where this matrix here is a column vector. Let's just look at the right-hand side of this equality because B times X is defined. We know what B times X is. If we think of B as a bunch of column vectors sitting next to each other, then B times X is a linear combination of the columns of B. Now this matrix vector multiplication distributes over vector addition In each of these terms, your x is a scalar, you can pull it out. And when you do that, what do you get? But a linear combination of vectors. This is a vector, this is a vector, and so on. A linear combination of vectors can be rewritten as a matrix times a vector. In particular, the matrix whose columns are these vectors, so this matrix, times the vector x1, x2, up to xp, which is just x. So if addition is going to be associative, I think I misspoke. If multiplication is going to be associative, which we badly want it to be, this equality has to be true. And how can we make sure that this matrix times X equals this matrix times X? Well, the easiest way to make sure of that would be if these matrices were the same, if A times B equaled this matrix. And that is precisely how we define A times B. So I'm not saying it's the most obvious or the most natural definition, but it's really the only definition we can have if we want for this to be true.